Thank you for joining us today. For part one in a series of three, we will be talking about issuing materials to work tickets in Stage 100 production management. Let's take a look at our agenda. In our first segment, we're going to look at transaction entry and production management. During our second segment, we will cover purchase order creation and receipts. So look out for this in an upcoming video. Our third segment will cover issuing material using dynamic inventory. So look out for this upcoming video. So here we are in Sage 100. I'm going to go into production management and work ticket transaction entry. Let's create a batch, create a transaction. My transaction type is going to be materials. Select my work ticket that I'm issuing the material to and go to the lines. So on the lines tab, where it's asking for the item code, you can type in an item code. You can do a lookup and select an item code from any items that are in inventory. Or you can press the binoculars button and you can get a list of all of the items that were defined for this work ticket. So these are the materials that we think we're going to use on this work ticket. So let's go ahead and select this screw. You can see we have a required quantity of 16. So let's go ahead and issue 16 of this screw. Now let's go ahead and select another item here. I wanna show you something that's a little bit different here than it is in other places in Sage 100. We're gonna select this VGA card and put one of those in. We're going to also select this monitor. Now notice for the monitor, I cannot type in a quantity. And that's because this particular item has lot valuation and I have to select the lot number first. So I'm gonna open up the distribution screen here and select the lot or serial number, in this case, serial number. Pick one that's on hand. And that will update the quantity to one. Let's take that off. So that's how you can issue material with lot numbers is you have to do the distribution of the lot number before you put the quantity in. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that just so that we don't have to deal with it. So let's go ahead and accept this with the 16 screws and update. So I'm gonna hit the printer icon, go print our transaction journal for this batch. Posting date of May 31st, 2020. And we're printing to paperless office. So this is going to open the transaction journal on the screen for us and we can review it, make sure it's correct. And as you can see, it's going to this work ticket, quantity 16. The unit cost is a penny each. So we're going to post 16 cents here. We'll go ahead and update that. And we'll print the data transaction register as well. And the GL posting for this, since we're issuing material to the work ticket, will be accredited to the inventory account for that item and then a debit to work in process. So here's your credit for the item for inventory and your debit to your work in process account. Go ahead and update that as well. So let's look at the effects of this in a couple of different places. So first of all, we'll go into work ticket entry and we could go to inquiry. We'll call up the work ticket. And we'll go to the materials tab and you can see all the material that's defined here for this work ticket. And you can see that we were planning to use 16 screws and we did in fact use 16. And by the way, you could filter this list by step in the lower right hand corner here. So we could look at just what on step 40 if that's what we wanna do. Let's go to the inquiry tab and select the materials radio button. And here you'll see all the transactions that have occurred for materials. So reference back to this item, the sources TE for transaction entry, gives us a reference number, quantity issued unit cost, all that stuff. And we can also go look at inventory management 
I'll do this through item inquiry and take a look at the transaction there as well. So we'll call up this screw. That'll be this one. Look at the transactions. And we'll go ahead and expand this stuff going on here because I'm not actually in 2020. But you can see Here's our 16 that were issued with the source journal here. You can even modify this lookup or this grid by including the work ticket number, which is really nice. It's not part of the default, but you can add it with custom office and not only see the source journal, but also see the work ticket for which this was issued, which is something that I would recommend. But you can see we issued the 16 here. The transaction type is JI for production management. So to summarize, we looked at doing material issues in transaction entry. You can find us on YouTube, LinkedIn. Our website is www.nimsassociates.com. And you can contact us at erp at nimsassociates.com or call us at 877-454-3200, extension 6346. Thank you for your attention. We appreciate it.